Oh my gosh, here. Oh my gosh, he's gonna see me now. Oh, he's right there, he's right there. I think he saw y'all. I thought, okay. And the dogs go crazy. Kayla and <gasps> Oh yeah. Did we tell them? Yes, we did. Kayla got her first adjustment yesterday at and I didn't her drink any water. chiropractor office. She works at what? Drink any water. Kayla, and you know she told you to down the water, and you don't I drink didn't none. Home. You should have got one at Target. I know. I was we came home last night. You made it sound like we stayed. We were home by eight thirty. You could have drank was water. About to fall out. I sat on my bed after my shower for the longest time. And Come I on, Bradley. Fell asleep. Start walking. She's trying to that procrastinate school. I literally only had gotten like, I was up at 3.13. Well, oh yeah, in the morning. And I had to go to bed till one something. So I was literally running on like less than two hours of sleep. Mm-hmm. And I think I was just exhausted last night. Like, well, I, drink a lot of water today. It'll benefit you either day. Yeah. You, if you don't, you may end up with a headache. But if you didn't well, end up with a headache, kind of hurting. yeah, I was gonna say, if you didn't have one yesterday, you may not have one, but sometimes you'll get a headache. All right, get up. I know, I got stuff to do. But I'm glad I you're home today. I haven't posted a video on YouTube in like days. How many? I've just been so busy this week. I haven't posted one all week, I know that for a fact. Wow. So I have one on my phone, I just need to, not on my phone, <laughs> I have one on my camera that I just need to edit. Okay, Bradley, do you ever post yours? I'm saving it for tomorrow. That means you only posted one last weekend. No, it's not. Just a little bit. But you're making good grades. I am. And so that's more important. That's more important. You guys, family so channel. If you want to see me and Bradley, come to the family, the family channel. channel. That's right. And if you're here, you can to see our them. Family channel to see extra. Well, I'm yeah. trying, but it's hard fitting everything in one day. Girl, I know. Tell me about and it. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save that video for tomorrow. So I already have a video filmed and edited and on YouTube. Do you, you just have to post one more. I just have to film okay. and edit and post one more. That's mm -hmm. it. So I thought it would be more convenient. Yes, I guess if you want to look at it that way. I'm if that good. makes you feel better. I'm making a great if that makes you better. sleep at night. I'm making a great it's all that Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I have this great plan of every day at lunch I'll come home, edit my video, <laughs> and whatever. Go to the kitchen every day instead. I literally get home. I go to the kitchen. Mom comes over there, eats lunch with me. And I, by the time I look at the clock, it's time to go again. <laughs> What's wrong, Aiden? What's wrong? Nothing. Aren't you glad it's Friday? I'm glad. And we got the whole weekend I'm to no school. And I'm also glad that when I get done with school, I'm going to get in the bed. Are you? He told me, he said, Mom, don't make your bed. Like, my bed's the hangout room. You know it is. Like, everybody loves to hang out you in my room. You told me not to break your headphones, but one side of them doesn't even work. <laughs> Because wow. They're old. <laughs> Sorry, brah. But anyway, yeah, Aiden's like, Mom, don't make your bed because I want to crawl in it after school and watch TV. I think everybody just likes my bed because it's a big bed. Cozy. It's cozy. Comfy. It like is comfy. Mm -hmm. It's lifted up like high. Yeah. I don't know. Like the TV's comfy. directly in front of the bed. Yeah, my mom has a very comfortable bed. Like, my bed's pretty comfy too. Hey, like, my bed, bed is my favorite. More than yours? I bet she's so annoying. I have to lay over the rail to see the TV. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Did you get her a ticket because of the ceiling? No, actually I bought that stand. We just hadn't put it up. I mean, I'm sure Remind me and I'll try to do it this weekend. We've had it for like three months. True. Yeah. Okay, we're going to finish up. Aiden's taking a test. I don't mean finish up school. We're not done. We're just starting. We've got a test going on. Aiden's going to finish that up. Eat his Pop-Tarts. And Bryce will get finally started on school. And I think Kayla might get off the floor at some point yeah, today. Kayla went to the grocery store for us. Thank you so much, Kayla. You're welcome. I went grocery shopping like a big girl. She did like a big girl. She got a bunch of random stuff, but. I had my cart 
Did and you? I had a list on my phone. I felt like an adult. Oh. Trying to figure out which way you're supposed to go in the store because. Oh, I know. The doors. So Kayla found these. She had them at work and says they're like the best thing ever. So if you guys want something that is now nut free and you like pumpkin spice, she claims you definitely need to try them, right? Oh my God, best cupcakes ever. You ever. should see the like pumpkin spice section they have. They have like pumpkin spice like apple fritters or Ooh. something. I don't know what they were. I didn't read them. Well, but fall time, you know. Oh my gosh, so much. And I know they're not gluten free, but whatever. But this is my haul real quick. I got <laughs> Two boxes of cilantro lime rice, not for dinner purposes, but for lunch purposes, just because it's so good. I got two packs of peppers. Because <laughs> yes. they're so good. Like, Those are really fall, good. Like, I would like peppers as much mm -hmm. as I do, but whatever. I got Briley some chips because I remember she, like, mentioned, she was like, I really want some more chips. She didn't even ask for them, but I was like... That was sweet of you. Got me some chips because, sadly, our food line's out of my grandma Utz chips. I know. They have been for, like... Two weeks now. I'm confused. I need to go see other food one. I got Aiden an apple because randomly he's like, I really want an apple. So he wants to cut it open to see the star. She says this is the mm -hmm. best juice. juice. I drink this. I can drink an entire carton in like a few days. It's bad. It's so good. Though. That is bad. Sour cream, chicken broth because mom's. Yes. Okay. Wait a minute. Before you say it. Before you say it. Why are you upset about it? I don't eat that stuff. You know I don't. Okay. Do you guys remember when I was standing right here yesterday and I was showing you guys the chicken in the crock pot? What did I say would be so good to have instead? That's what it reminded me of, smelling the chicken. And we had like half of that chicken left over. So I'm going to use it to make something that needs chicken broth. And you probably don't even have to have watched the vlog to know what I'm making. Mm -hmm. But comment down below, pause the video. Okay, what am I making for dinner? We're making chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. I'm like so excited about it. I know you're upset. You'll be okay. Oh, you should have got me some canned carrots. I can go back. I know. Maybe. We'll see. I'm not cooking right now anyway. All right. And what else? A Kit Kat for Aiden. Mm-hmm. Got something else. Your cilantro lime rice. You already say yeah, it? She's making that for oh, lunch. noodles. I bought noodles. That was it. Oh, salsa and chips. Oh, salsa and chips. She bought me salsa and chips because, you know, that's not my daily lunch. And I think that's it. Yeah, but, I mean, this is my little grocery haul. Told it, like, a little bit of health, a little bit of snack, a little bit of, I don't know. Junk. Yeah, but there's the haul, guys. All right. I got a package in the mail yesterday right here. And I opened it up. And I'm so excited for what's in here because they weren't going to send it. Mm. And I'll explain that in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys. Oh gosh. Can you rip that side? Thank you. Keep your eyes closed. Oh I know. Like, Wait, is that yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Open, your, open your eyes. Do you know what it is? What is it? Tell me, tell me faster. It's my, um, my lights. Yes. So Don't pull the box open yet. Mommy's got to do a video for it. Oh my gosh. I wasn't going to show you guys, but I just had to see Aiden's reaction on camera. That was great. My strobe lights came. Yes. So it's LED lights. I'll do a video on these and show you guys. Oh my gosh. Are you excited? Yes. I've been wanting to be before oh. Halloween came because I wanted to like make my... Like, when the Halloween came, I wanted to turn my room, like, purple. Now you can. Because my other lights that were on my bed, they broke. Yes. Somehow, and they snapped. So now I have some ones that I can put on my um, ceiling. Yeah, you want to put them up, like, this weekend? Like, tomorrow? Yes. Perfect. So the funny story is with the lights. I normally only do collabs with companies that want to send product for a video review because that's how most time it works. Um, I don't normally ask for compensation or anything, but this particular company asked if I would purchase them first and then they were like do a reimbursement and I'm iffy on companies like that just because what if they don't reimburse you or like, you know, you bought this product, you know, what if you didn't like the product and you're stuck with it kind of. So I was, I'm iffy on those. So I was like, well, you know, if that's the way you handle it, that's fine. I understand you do your collabs this way. I'm so sorry, but I don't collab that way. But thank you so much for, you know, thinking of us because, you know, we definitely want to get some and I may purchase them later. But right now, we're just going to hold off waiting. But thanks again. Well, they mailed them to me. And I didn't have to pay for them. Like, what? 
So I'm gonna have to email them today and be like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. So we're gonna be filming us putting those up in Aiden's room and you guys get to see those soon. I'll probably show them on home with Tracy maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Cause this weekend I wanna decorate for Halloween. And if that's still on the agenda, I don't know if I have time to do that video as well, but I will definitely get his lights up on this channel. I'll show you guys because we want to put them up. He's going to be so excited. I hope they sent us enough to go around his room. The box looks way smaller than Briley's. I mean, it really does, but we're going to hopefully have enough lights to go around the room. If not, maybe we can just at least decorate the back of his bed or something like that. I don't need to see on here how long they are, but maybe it is enough. I don't know. I'm excited. Come here, Briley. Briley Ann. What? Come here. No. I just told Briley that it's only fair if she gets the downstairs bathroom. There's three girls. We're going to divide and conquer, clean the house real quick. She chose downstairs bathroom, which has no shower. And if you... Yes? I'll be there in a minute. So, I told her it was only fair if she's going to take the downstairs bathroom, which is the one she chose, there's no shower. And everybody knows the shower is a lot more work than any other part of the bathroom. She chose downstairs. Downstairs is also going to include dishes. It's not and in the bathroom. And she's complaining. Ma'am? It's not in the bathroom. Okay. We still have to clean the whole house. So your choice, you want upstairs bathroom or do you, would you like the dishes and the bathroom? The dishes aren't even my job though. They are today. Mm. Make a decision. I Five, I'll do the four. Okay, <laughs> that is your job. I'm gonna do the counters in here. I mean, I know you want to be done for the day. It's only 2.30. Come on. But I finished school. Well, congratulations, I'm glad. So I should sit down and relax. Not yet. Get the house done because if you guys are like me, once you sit down, it's really hard to get motivated to get up and do it again. So as long as I don't go sit down somewhere, I'm good. So no, we've got to clean now. Okay? Sure. So put a smile on that pretty face and go scrub a toilet. So we've made it into the bathroom, the one dreaded part of the house that everybody hates to clean, but it has to be done. But today I've got a really cool product I'm excited to try and I think it will be really nice for people like me that are not very tall and have a hard time reaching the very top of the shower and just hurts their back when they clean the bathtub. This company reached out to me. I don't really know how to pronounce the name of the company, but this is what they sent me. It is an extendable bathtub scrubber. I'm excited to try that. They also sent me two scrubbing pads that come with it as well. This I think will help save on your back, back aches and all that. So we're gonna take it out of the box so you guys can see what it looks like. This is me first time opening it. Right, so here it is. Look at the brush it comes with. That's awesome. So you take your brush and you just slide it on like that. There's a button right here you just mash and when you press that it slides right off so you can change it out to the other ones that they have. I don't know exactly all the ones they provide like for this company. Are there any other things you can put on there but I know it comes with the brush and then they sent me these scrubbers. So the two scrubber pads that it comes with they look like this and they're kind of rough. You can hear that. That's really cool. I don't know which one to use, guys. Should I use the brush or one of the scrubbers? I think I'm gonna use the scrubber. I think that's the one I'm gonna go with. This would actually be really good to use other areas besides just the bathroom and like the bathtub. I was already having ideas for it earlier when I was opening the package because the brush has really um, stiff bristles. So I was like, man, that would be good to like clean your sidewalk like outdoor type projects, you know, like my rub this on my deck, scrubbing it. I'm just thinking of other uses for it besides just the bathtub. These mainly definitely, these scrubbers, I wouldn't use anywhere but the bathtub, so let's try it out. So to clean my bathtub, I'm just using like regular dish soap. This is like generic Dawn. And I got this tip from a girl that cleans professionally on TikTok. So shout out to her, I can't remember her name. That's really bad, I know. But she's like, use this because it gets all the grease and grime and dirt and all that stuff, which makes sense. So that's what we're using. And I don't like using harsh chemicals in my bathtub just because 
Aiden taking a bath in there and playing around and you know, I was like, mm, I'd rather use something I know is not gonna hurt him. So we're gonna use this dish soap today. I have to say this made cleaning the bathtub a whole lot easier it really really did my back doesn't hurt because normally I'm up and down off the bathtub bending over doing the bottom of the base of the tub and for sure this helped I cleaned it what I feel like is a whole lot quicker because I wasn't up and down as much so if you guys want to check them out check out this product for yourself you can check out the link down below in the description we have completed the whole house bathrooms and all also in our last vlog you know i told you guys that we had somebody coming to look at our attic or possibly building out on the back of our house the guy said he couldn't come due to a storm because it was raining really bad yesterday and i even told you guys i wasn't sure if he was going to even be able to come or what and he said he was just gonna come by today so barry's on the way home and the guy should be here shortly after he gets here and hopefully he comes today and everything's still good and we can get an answer on if everything's possible, what is possible, and hopefully he can work us up like a cost for it because I know it's going to probably be kind of expensive either route we go. But yeah, I wanted to mention that because I totally felt like I left you guys hanging with that yesterday and just realized that this morning. Oh my gosh, here. Oh my gosh, he's going to see me now. Do you guys see what is going on right now? And you probably don't even know why they're on the floor. Hold on. I don't know. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Shh. He's fixing to come up on the porch. I think he saw y'all. You think he's Aiden, move. I said, I think he saw y'all. Because he was looking in the windows. Oh, well. Now he doesn't know where I am. What's he doing? What's he doing? I thought, okay. And the dogs go crazy. Okay. Is it gone? Where'd he go? No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Why? It's contactless. He's putting the pizza on. He's putting the pizza. Okay, so we're not making soup. Because Kayla didn't want it. Nobody wanted it. Did you just hit your head? Shh. The dogs are going crazy. They hate the doorbell. And Kayla and <gasps> Kayla. Oh Why are we stalking the pizza guy? Because we thought it was going to be hot. Okay, so the girls thought it was going to be. There he goes. He's going to be hot. He's 60. The, the girls thought he was going to be some hot guy and he drove up on a it's minivan. Night. Most of the time, hot guys work on the weekends. He's in his 60s. <laughs> And I was you very girls are a mess. Disappointed. So I we're have to find a new pizza place. That he's not the only delivery guy. Well, all the ones we've had from this place in the past. Okay, I'm fine. Not being used. We're gonna switch us again here. I've been filming the whole time together over here talking. We were, I was filming, and then we went to get a kitchen. Game okay. of push. You know what we should get to tonight? We should go. Oh, we should. I'm not. Me and me and Bradley can just go. Work. They want to go bowling. I'll buy your ticket and your shoes. It's Friday. Okay, we can get the pizza. You're welcome to go get it. Now, I think he's left. Has he gone? I don't oh, know. yeah, he just pulled out. And he went the wrong way down the street again. That's so funny. Okay, we got pizza. Like I was saying, the girls, nobody. Guys, them dogs. They didn't want. Yeah, they do. They didn't want soup. So, no, because me and Riley talked about pizza way earlier today. I was like, man, you know, pizza would be really good. All I know is I walked inside and they're like, what kind of pizza you want? And I'm like, five. I ordered five pizzas. <laughs> I want to make sure we had enough. Everybody had their own pizza. But yeah, whatever. Just, it's Friday night. Like you said, you might want a much later and you love cold pizza. Hey, that was exciting for the hey. night. I'm sitting on the couch and they just like take off in here. Briley, come on. Well, at least Kayla did. Then here comes Briley trotting behind her sister. And they're all at the window. I'm like, that guy is going to see y'all. He almost did. Cupcakes. Those are Kayla. She bought those today. He almost did, but we like bolted out the way. 
Yeah, I was pretty. When I walked in, y'all were laying up on the floor. I was like, okay. <laughs> She, after I was sitting there, I was like, hey, I was like, he's going to see me. And he turns the corner off the steps. And then she, she like, bangs her head into my leg. Um, I thought he was going to be better looking. I when I saw the minivan, I knew y'all could just hang it up. Well, yeah, when I saw the minivan. Yeah, no, but y'all kept staring out the window. It was this cute guy. He did have a car. Borrowing his mom's car. He was borrowing his mom's car. I mean, That's it's a true. possibility. No, that is an option. I mean, I just got a car at 22, so That's he right. could have been driving around in his mom's minivan. That's I mean, right. you can't rule it out until the door opens and the bachelor walks out. Yeah, but and he wasn't it. He was not it. I thought he could so, have been your granddad. But he were not the bachelor. We're going to have to just order from Papa John's next time. <laughs> Because I think last time Papa John's had, does have younger guys. people working for them. They really do. So I think next time we should just do Papa John's. And I had a coupon from them. So why don't we do that? Do you want to order more pizza? I mean, we might if we eat all five pizzas, we'll order more from Papa John's just to well, see. Let's Ooh, I got it. Let's order dessert. Yes! We could order two desserts and they'll deliver them. And then you could check out that pizza guy. Well, until dessert, let's eat pizza. Thank you, Lindsay, for sharing the live. I'm getting a new puppy. Oh my goodness, what type of dog are you getting? What is your dream job? Hmm. My dream job would be like a wedding planner. Oh my gosh, you scared me. Did you not hear me open the door? <laughs> no, my mom's vlogging. No, I didn't hear you open the door. How could you not hear it? Yeah, Kayla's doing a live. Just I'm wanted to come live. check on you. Yes. Hi vlog. Hey, hey Tracy. Hi vlog. Everyone's saying hey, hi. Hey everybody. Hey vlog. Yes. There are the comments for hello, the hello. vlog. <laughs> hey guys. Say hello. Welcome. You're on the vlog now. I'm, I'm watching back. Kayla's live. I just sent her a bunch of gifts on TikTok. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun. I sent her like a sun cream, rainbow peaks, and pandas. That was fun. Hey, guess what is coming up? What is coming up, Jordan? Love slap. Love from Chicago. Hey. So the guy came today, looked at our attic space, and looked at a possible expanding the back of our house. You guys, I'm like shocked at how much it cost to do what we wanted to do. I knew the attic was going to be probably an issue and cost more because of all the support beams that are up there. They have to take those out and put in like some real structural beams and all that stuff. And the guy came tonight and kind of confirmed our fears. It was going to be like such a big project. They almost have, would have to like take the roof off of the garage to get in there to do it. It was more than I was expecting. I'm just being honest. The guy gave us a quote. <laughs> of between starting at $50,000 to $75,000. What? I really was not anywhere in that ballpark, okay? I was absolutely shocked how much that was going to cost. So the other option was to bust out the back of our garage, put a door, and then walk directly into a room that is still connected to the house. That was way more acceptable for the price. To build that would only cost us, I mean, still a lot of money, but it's gonna cost, you know, 15 to 20,000. That is way more understandable, in my opinion, to get an extra bedroom. The girls would get their own space. Kayla would kind of have like her own little apartment out there. And I'm not exactly sure how big that space was. I need to clarify that with my husband. But it would be definitely a good size um, for a bedroom. And she'd have her own little space out there. And I was like, and then she would still be attached to the house. That was my main concern. And, you know, I think fifteen to 20000 is not unreasonable to build onto the back of the house. So that might be our option, guys. Of course, the last option would be just to move and find a bigger house, like a four bedroom house. I love my house. I truly love my house. I mean, I can say that and really mean it. I put a lot of work into this house. If you guys saw it before we moved in, you would totally get where I'm coming from. I mean, we redid floors and paint and I've just made it kind of our own and I love it. 
But I understand the girls kind of want their own space. I get that. Bradley, did you hear the pricing tonight? Mm -mm. Come here. So bad. Yeah. Are you ready? You're not? No, I doubt we can do it. Well, just listen. So, if he does the attic, it's going to cost between $50,000 to $75,000 to build an extra bedroom. Okay? He said they would have to remove the whole roof. Yeah. Take those beams and make structural, like... The attic? Yes. Redo all the structural thing and then re-put the roof on. That's what would cost so much. Like, 75000 And that... They're just... That's guesstimate. It could be more. It could be less, but... What about the other idea? Okay. Is that more? No. Less? Yes. So, that's way more understandable to do the other option. And I kind of like that idea better. Yeah, I would hate putting Kayla in an attic. Well, I know, but it would be a room, like a yeah. fully functioning room. The only thing is, we're going to lose Could backyard we... doing this. Did we ever go in the backyard? I mean, Aiden does. He plays out there. He never goes over there, though. Well, and I was thinking, too, you know, if we take the pool down and we don't put it back up next year. I doubt we will. We didn't even I'm just really. saying, if we don't put it back up next year, you know, we still have our pool we go to. But let me tell you what that, how much that one was. So, to build off the back of the house, do you want to guess how much that one is? Just guess. Is it like close to the other one? No. Twenty thousand. Fifteen to twenty thousand. Yeah. And I think that is totally doable. Yeah. I don't to I build that. onto the back of the house. Yeah. So I'm kind of leaning towards that if we want to do that. I can see doing that. So that is the exciting update. We have not made, of course, a final decision on anything. We really need to kind of see how we feel i definitely know the attic's not happening i'm sorry but that is way over the top I, yeah. i'd rather move yeah i mean i love my house we but could i take I the could, money and move with that that's what i was saying but but 15 to 20 that's doable yeah plus like i'm pretty sure we'll be staying here for at least another two years at least if not longer i mean i'm just not in a hurry to move no yeah plus like i really love our house plus if we like you know the more money we save up the nicer our house we could get and the bigger house we could get yeah so i think it'd be easier if we would just you know build on here then we can stay here for longer mm -hmm. save up our money because the main reason me and kayla want to move is to get our own bedroom yeah we love our house so if we do i love our house here i love our neighborhood and everything and i honestly the only reason me and kayla want to move is because we want our own bedroom so if we just did this we could live here longer, save more money to get another house, like, later on down the road, mm -hmm. but still get our way and kind of, like, have our own bedrooms. Yeah. So, I say that we build onto the back of the house. <laughs> it's definitely an option. Yeah. And it's like I was saying, it'll up the value of the house if we ever sell it. Yeah. So, that's the update. If you guys enjoyed today's vlog, please hit the thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and all that, and we'll see you in the next vlog.